Sketches are at the core of any 3D design you create. If you've been using 3D CAD but are new to Onshape, the picks and clicks you might be used to in other programs are similar here, but there are some that are unique to Onshape. Let's take a few minutes to go over a few of the sketch tools used most often so you feel nimble in the sketch environment. To start a sketch, you can of course click the sketch icon and then choose a sketch plane. But a nice shortcut is to simply right click on any plane or face. Choose New Sketch, right-click again, and you can view normal to the sketch plane. Anytime you see this pop-up window, this lets you know you are editing a sketch. The Line command lets you quickly create a chain of lines to create a profile. Notice as I add this third line segment, the profile becomes shaded letting me know I have an enclosed region that could be used for an extrude or other 3D features. I didn't have to create an additional line segment to close the profile here, since Onshape treats this existing model edge as a boundary for the profile. To turn off the line, I can right-click and select Escape Line, or just press Escape on the keyboard. You can also create single lines without a chain by clicking to start a line, and with the mouse button still depressed, Release the mouse at the spot you would like to end it. Line segments can be toggled to construction by selecting them and pressing the construction icon on the toolbar. I'll go ahead and make this line vertical as well. Sketch tools such as rectangles, circles, and arcs have a flyout menu allowing you to select the different methods of creating those entities, but I'll skip over those as well as the spline tool for now. Sketch fillets are another sketch tool you'll most likely use often as well. Here you can select any two intersecting line segments or a vertex. With your selections made, just type in a radius. The offset sketch tool works as you might expect, but there are a few picks and clicks here that you should be aware of. With the tool active, just click any line segment or combination of segments that you wish to offset. And with your selections made, you can use the arrow in the graphics area to specify the direction. To enter the offset distance, just click anywhere to make the pop-up appear where you can type in the distance. The Use command allows you to convert any model face or edge into sketch entities on the plane you're working with. And finally, the last sketch tool I'll go over here is the Trim command. The Trim command is simple. Just click any entity that you would like to get rid of, and it is trimmed back to the closest intersection. At this point, I could click the Extrude icon to create a 3D feature, or just click the green check to save and exit the sketch. When I do, the sketch pop-up disappears, and as with any item in the Features list, to make changes, just double-click on it and the sketch pop-up reappears. Before wrapping up, there's one last thing I'd like to mention. You may have noticed as I was selecting items that there was no need to hold down the control key to select multiple items. This is the case with everything you do in Onshape. Anything you click on becomes selected, whether it's sketch entities, model faces, or even items in the features list. To clear your active selections, just click again anywhere in white space. In case you would like to window select anything, you can press the Alt key on the keyboard while dragging the mouse.